Hello grade 10 learners! Have a nice day! Welcome back to my channel! For today's video, I'll be discussing to you how to determine the end behavior of the graph of polynomial function using the leading coefficient test. Okay, before we go on further, let us try to understand first the concept of leading coefficient test. Leading coefficient test is a test that uses the leading term of the polynomial function to determine the right-hand and left-hand behaviors of the graph. So with the leading coefficient test, we can already visualize the form of our graph. Now, another thing is the concept of turning point. So what is turning point? It is a point where the function changes from decreasing to increasing or from increasing to decreasing values. Say, for example, we have a graph that looks like this. Okay, where is the turning point? Okay, this is the part of the turning point. Okay, this Point here is the turning point. Another, this is the second turning point. Okay? Okay, from this point, okay, our graph falls to the left. This is the left hand. Okay? We have here arrowhead. And also here an arrowhead. Okay? On the left hand, this is the part, the left hand, and this is the right hand, R. From this point, the graph rises. And once it reaches this point, it goes down until it reaches to this point. Now, from this point, the turning point, from decreasing now, it goes up, increasing. Okay? That is turning point. So, in here, we have two turning points. This is the first turning point, and this is the second turning point. The number of turning points in the graph of a polynomial, polynomial function with degree n is less than the degree of the polynomial function or at most, quantity of n minus 1. Okay, what does it mean? So, given the function, the turning points or the number of turning points is always, at most, the quantity of n minus 1. Meaning, it can be n minus 1 or less than n minus 1. Because the word is being used here is at most n minus 1 if there is no multiple root but if in case there are multiple roots that is at most n minus 1 okay always remember that the number of turning points of polynomial function is at most n minus 1 see for example we have here a function of y is equal to 2x cubed minus 7x squared minus 7x plus 12 the degree for this given function is 3. We have here 3. So to determine the number of turning points, we have n minus 1. So our n here is equal to 3. So substitute. So we have 3 minus 1. So that is equal to 2. So meaning to say that the number of turning points... For this is at most 2. If in case this function has no multiple root, then the number of turning points is 2. But if there are multiple roots, then it can be less than 2. That is the concept of at most n minus 1. Now let us try to familiarize the four cases of the leading coefficient test. First case, our leading coefficient 
is greater than zero. That is when the value of the leading coefficient is positive integers. And our degree is an odd number, meaning to say number is not divisible by two. So the behavior of our graph on the left hand is falling and on the right hand it's rising. So just like this. This is the left hand. Okay, falling, and this is the right hand, rising. Or in other words, the graph falls to the left and rises to the right. Second case, a sub n is less than zero. That is when the value of our leading coefficient is negative integers. And the degree is an odd number. The behavior of our graph in the left hand is rising, and in the right hand, falling. Just like this. In the left hand, rising and the right hand falling okay or in other words the graph rises to the left it falls to the right third case our leading coefficient is greater than zero and our degree is even number meaning divisible by two so the behavior of the graph is rising to the left and rising to the right so just like this rising to the left and rising to the right by the way at the end of our graph, there is always an arrowhead. So we need to see it's continuous. And the graph of a polynomial function is always a smooth continuous curve. Okay, it's smooth continuous curve. Now the fourth case. A sub n is less than zero and the degree is an even number. The behavior of our graph is falling to the left and falling to the right. So just like this. The graph falls to the left and falls to the right. Or in other words, the graph falls to the left and to the right. Now let's have the first example wherein we're going to determine the end behavior of its function and draw the possible sketch of the graph. So possible sketch only, we're not going to draw the graph in the Cartesian coordinate plane, okay? But in my next video, we're going to draw it in the Cartesian coordinate plane. So for example, we have here y is equal to 2x cubed minus 7x squared minus 7x plus 12. First, check if the given function is already in the standard form. Okay, since the function is already in the standard form, we have to determine right away the leading coefficient. And of course, the leading coefficient here is 2, this one. Okay, next. Compare the leading coefficient with 0. Our comparison is always 0. So, of course, 2 is greater than 0. So, it means that the leading coefficient is greater than 0. Next, determine the degree. So, the degree here is 3. Okay, and 3 is an odd number. If you have remember with the four cases of the leading coefficient test, this is the first case where our leading coefficient is greater than zero and the degree is an odd number. Therefore, then behavior of the graph, it falls to the left and rises to the right. Okay, for the possible sketch of, of our graph, okay, we have to determine the turning point. So, this function has no multiple root. So, since it has no multiple root, we can easily determine the number of turning point by using this formula n minus 1 since the degree is 3 minus 1 so it means we have here two turning points okay so now we're going to sketch the graph okay considering that, that the end behavior uh, falls to the left and rises to the right so we have to make use of the arrowhead the arrowhead of the graph and always remember that the graph of a polynomial function is a smooth continuous curve okay falls to the left and we have two turning points we have one and two okay it's not so smooth but then this, this is the graph possible okay so we have the First turning point here and the second turning point it's here and do not forget that there should be an arrowhead at both ends 
Okay. Falls to the left. Rises to the right. Okay. Next. Now let's have the second example. Y is equal to negative x to the power of 5 plus 3x to the power of 4 plus x cubed minus 7x squared plus 4. So first, we have to determine the leading coefficient. And our leading coefficient here is negative 1. Okay, next, compare the leading coefficient with 0. So negative 1 is less than 0. So therefore, our leading coefficient is less than 0. Next, determine the degree. So our degree here is 5. And 5 is an odd number. If you can still remember, this is the second case for the leading coefficient test. Therefore, the end behavior of the graph is that it rises to the left and falls to the right. Now, for the possible sketch of our graph, we have a degree of n less by 1 to determine the turning point. So, we have 5 minus 1 where 5 is the degree. So 5 minus 1 is equal to 4. So we have 4 turning points. Okay. So rises to the left. So it rises to the left. Then there are 4 turning points. We have 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay, this is just only the possible sketch. Okay, our concern here is the end behavior and the turning points. We have first turning point, second turning point, this is the third, and this is the fourth. And the graph rises to the left and falls to the right. Now let's have example number 3. y is equal to x to the power of 4 minus 7x squared plus 6x. Okay, this function is already in standard form. Now we have to determine the leading coefficient. So our leading coefficient here is 1. And compare it with 0. And of course, 1 is greater than 0. So therefore, our leading coefficient is greater than 0. And our degree here is 4. And 4 is an even number. This is the third case of the leading coefficient test where the leading coefficient is greater than zero and the degree is an even number. Therefore, the end behavior of our graph is it rises to the left and to the right. So for the possible sketch of our graph, okay, again, this function has no multiple root. So we have to determine the number of learning points by using the formula n minus 1. So 4 minus 1, where 4 is the degree of this function, therefore our answer here is 3. So meaning to say we have 3 turning points. And remember that the end behavior is that it rises to the left and to the right. So we have to sketch the graph. Okay, rises to the left. And then with three turning points, so we have one, two, three. Okay, we have here the first turning point, the second turning point, and the third turning point. It's not that perfect, but this is just only the possible sketch. Our main concern here is the falling and rising on the left hand and right hand. So here on the left hand, it rises, and on the right hand, it also rises with three turning points, one, two, and three. Sample number four. Y is equal to negative x to the power of four plus two x cubed plus 13x squared minus 14x minus 24. So, the function is already in standard form. Determine the leading coefficient. And the leading coefficient here is negative 1. And of course, negative 1 is less than 0. 
So, therefore, the leading coefficient is less than 0. Next, for our degree, our degree is 4. So, 4 is an even or an odd. 4 is an even number. And if you have remembered, this is the fourth case of the leading coefficient test. So, therefore, the behavior of this graph is that the graph falls to the left and to the right, meaning to say it falls to the left and it also falls to the right. Now for the possible sketch of our graph, we have to determine first the turning point. So since our degree is 4, we have to subtract it by 3, I mean by 1, so n minus 1, so we have 4 minus 1, and that is equal to 3. So, meaning to say we have three turning points. Remember, falls to the left and falls to the right. So, we have here to start on the left side. So, we have one, two, and three. Okay. It forms like the symbol for MACDO. Actually, the symbol for MACDO is an example of the graph of polynomial function. Okay, we have here three turning points. So we have one, two, and three. So this is the possible graph of this function. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Hopefully you learned something for today. And if in case you have questions or clarifications regarding this video, kindly Write your questions in the comment box. Please share to other students for them to learn or master the lesson, especially to the grade 10 students. And please don't forget to subscribe to be updated for more math lesson videos and turn on the bell for notifications. Before I end, let me share to you one of the verses from the Bible. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but false despise wisdom and instruction. Proverbs 1 verse 7. That's all for today and God bless you all.